and yeah. To thank my family, especially my mother. Love you. To thank my parents, my sister, and Bob. I'd like to thank my parents for guiding me and pushing me through, towards my goals and for my friends for always being there for me and for my sister who always puts up with me. I'd like to thank my uh, friends for all the laughs, you know, all the good times, uh, being the only reason I show up to school every day. I'm thankful for all the teachers and my family for getting me where I am today. And I would especially like to thank Ms. Borda. I thank my parents, teachers, and friends for making these four years special. I'd like to thank my dad, my mother, and my sister for supporting me throughout my high school career and to all my friends who have made this whole experience more enjoyable and bearable. I'd like to thank my parents, my mom, my dad, my aunts, my uncles, my cousin for all the support they've been giving me for all my entire life. And least of all, I'd like to thank my sister. Love you all. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for motivating me to stay here because Lord knows how many times I wanted to leave. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate you guys, and I did it. <laughs> I'd like to thank my mom and my dad and all my friends for supporting me through high school. I want to thank my parents, my friends, and my family for just supporting me throughout these four years. I want to say thank you to my parents, my brother, and my friends for always supporting me throughout these four years. Love you guys. Thank you to my mom, dad, Max, and all my friends for everything they've done for me the past four years. I want to thank my family, my friends, my teachers, and my cats and my dog for supporting me on my journey through high school and getting into college. I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, my sister, uh, Jordan, Dr. Fraley, and Dr. Bussey. I'd like to thank my parents for supporting me over these past four years. I want to give a special shout out to my mom for helping me throughout my whole high school experience. She's, she's kept me so dedicated and I love her so much. Good afternoon, Charger families. I am Mrs. Kerner. I am Mrs. Kerner, the proud principal of Suncoast High School. It is my pleasure to call to order the Suncoast High School Class of 2023 Commencement Ceremony. While this has not exactly been the high school experience any one of us imagined or anticipated 13 years ago when these Chargers started kindergarten, or even four years ago, if we are being completely honest, we are thrilled, nonetheless, to be gathered here together and are as excited as ever to be celebrating these unforgettable seniors. And now, please rise for the entrance of the triumphant Class of 2023. Please remain standing.
Good, after good afternoon, Chargers and Charger families. I am so excited to be here today to welcome all of you, students, staff, families, and dignitaries to the graduation of the most accomplished students in Palm Beach County. At this time, I invite Mr. Arnav Godam, our student government president, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Following the pledge, please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem performed by two incredibly talented chargers, Olympia Olias, accompanied by pianist Brianna Clark. Please face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Thank you, Alethea and Brianna, for that beautiful rendition of our national anthem. As I recall my own high school graduation ceremony 34 years ago, I cannot help but think of all the influential and supportive people who played a prominent role in my success to that point. Parents, grandparents, extended family members, teachers, counselors, friends. Seniors, you have that same love and support in your lives as well. I would ask that you take a brief moment now to personally reflect on those individuals who provided the immense support needed to get you to this shining moment in time, many of whom are exuding pride in our audience or who have tuned into this broadcast to acknowledge you from afar. 
At this time, I expect you, the Charger class of 2023, to join me in recognizing all of the parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and guardians who care for you each day. And in addition, it is my hope that you will personally extend your sincere gratitude to these impactful people following today's ceremony also. Next, I would like to acknowledge the dedication of our Suncoast faculty, staff, and administration. This dynamic group of educators and support personnel work tirelessly to inspire our students to strive for their very best. I appreciate everything this amazing team has done over the last four years and through a global pandemic to guide our scholars to this monumental level of achievement and to prepare them for this next chapter in their lives. I am confident our seniors and families share in my admiration and appreciation of you. Please stand now and be recognized. Now, I would like to bid a fond farewell to one of our Chargers who has reached a pivotal milestone in his career and will be starting a new chapter in life that does not require grading papers, proctoring exams, writing lesson plans, or pouring coffee into a to-go cup each morning. Congratulations on your retirement, Dr. James Pignotti. On behalf of the many lives you have touched, we thank you. More than half of our academic staff have advanced degrees. They are Dwyer Award finalists and winners. Cheers to you, Ms. Monica Russell, 2023 winner in the high school category. They are National Teachers Hall of Famers. Congratulations, Dr. Becky Hamilton. Dr. Hamilton has been selected as one of only five career teachers across the nation to be inducted into the National Teachers Hall of Fame in the class of 2023. They are IB workshop leaders, AP readers, youth mental health first aiders, assistant examiners, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The list of credits and accolades goes on and on for this distinguished group of educators. And while all of that is quite impressive, no doubt the most extraordinary thing about this dynamic team of professionals is how they inspire you all to achieve at the highest level and to be the very best version of you that you can be. It is now my pleasure to introduce our platform guests who also give up their time to ensure that Suncoast is the very best it can be. Please stand as I call your name. Mr. Michael Burke, Superintendent of Schools. <laughs> Mrs. Marcia Andrews, Palm Beach County School Board, District 6. Miss Karen Brill, Palm Beach County School Board, District 3. Mr. Edwin Ferguson, Palm Beach County School Board, District 7, and Suncoast alumni. Mrs. Erica Whitfield, Palm Beach County School Board, District 4. Mr. Jay Bogus, Chief of Staff. Dr. Glenda Sheffield, Chief Academic Officer. Mr. Joseph Sanchez, Chief Operating Officer. Dr. Joseph Lee, North Regional Secondary Instructional Superintendent. Mr. Ronnie Felder, Mayor, City of Riviera Beach. Mr. Michael Coleman, Chief of Police, City of Riviera Beach De Police Department. <laughs> Mrs. Katrina Granger, Principal, Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune Elementary School. <laughs> Dr. Stephanie Nance, Principal, Crestwood Middle School and parent of a graduate. <laughs> Mrs. Michelle Lakovic, Suncoast faculty member and parent of a graduate. Mrs. Elizabeth Pearson, Suncoast faculty member and parent of a graduate. Mrs. Tazine Rashid, Suncoast faculty member and family member of a graduate. And special thanks 
to our senior class sponsors and readers of today's names, Mr. Richard Haar and, and Mr. Johnny Ford. As the superintendent of the A-rated school district of Palm Beach County, Mr. Michael Burke is passionate about ensuring academic excellence and paving the way to postgraduate success for the district's more than 170 thousand students who attend 180 district operated schools. He is deeply committed to the school board's mission to educate, affirm, and inspire each student in an equity embedded school system. As superintendent of the 10th largest district in the nation, Mr. Burke also oversees Palm Beach County's largest workforce. The district employs about 23,000 employees. Please join me in welcoming our superintendent, Mr. Michael Burke, to the podium. Thank you. Looking good, Suncoast High School class of 2023. Congratulations, you're almost free. Free to pursue the next chapter of your life. Parents, family members, friends, and school district staff, please join me in a huge round of applause for these amazing graduates. All right, go Chargers. Today, your graduation day is a day you'll always remember. It is my great honor to stand before you as your proud superintendent on what is undeniably one of the best days of your life. Graduates, this is a huge milestone. Please remember this feeling of pride and accomplishment. You earned this achievement as a result of your hard work, your dedication, and perseverance. That is the recipe for success, and you have proven to all of us here today that you can accomplish a major life goal. You know, when it came time for me to write this speech, I did something I know you all would never do. I turned to ChatGPT and I said, ChatGPT, give me an inspirational, humorous high school commencement speech. And you know, it was pretty incredible. Within seconds, I had a nice document. It was well written, it was free of typos, but something was missing. It was missing the human experience. You, you know, there's no algorithm that can re replicate life we're all unique and life is unpredictable. Now you are gonna hear some great speeches today from a few of your fellow classmates. The shared experiences you have from attending school together are far more entertaining than anything artificial intelligence could ever produce. It also doesn't hurt that there are some incredible students. I have to warn the parents out there today, you are gonna hear some GPAs that are humbling to say the least. As someone who graduated in 1985, my GPA cannot compete with the class of 2023. Now, in my defense, I did take PE all four years of high school. So, but I am uh, very impressed with the class of 2023. I find them to be very, very thoughtful, quick to praise others, and recognize they did not get here today on their own. Graduates, please take a moment to reflect on how your parents, your family, your friends, your teachers, mentors, coaches, and others who support and encouragement help make today possible. Please give these important people who have inspired you, taken care of you, and always had your back a big round of applause. We all believe in you, and the most important thing is that you believe in yourself. Now is the time to take advantage of the opportunities available to you as a high school graduate. Think big and pursue your dreams, whether it be college, the armed services, career and technical education, or straight into workforce. Some of you might even be heading off to Florida State University. Anybody? All right, go Knowles. Just keep pushing yourself to reach your goals and there'll be many more best days ahead. Do not let the fear of failure hold you back. Uh, you know, one of the greatest of all time basketball players, Michael Jordan, he missed half the shots he took. He shot 49.7% during his career. Another all time great, LeBron James, is shooting 50.5%. And then a little closer to home, Mr. Jimmy Butler, or Jimmy Buckets, the butler, is shooting 51.8%. So let's go heat. Soon you will move up from being high school seniors to alumni of Suncoast High School in the school district of Palm Beach County. We have been handing out diplomas for over 100 years, and there is no class more deserving than the class of 2023. On behalf of the entire school board, many of our represented here today on the, on the platform, Congratulations, and we wish you all the best in life. I'm gonna leave you with a short video. Pay attention, you might see some familiar faces, 
and then it'll be my pleasure to shake your hand up here on stage a little further into the program. So thank you. <laughs> I had a dream so big and loud I jumped so high, touched the clouds Whoa, oh, 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 oh. I stretched my hands out to the sky We danced with monsters through the night Whoa, oh, 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 oh. I'm never gonna look back, no I'm never gonna give it up, no Please don't wake me now This is gonna be the best day of my life, my life. This is gonna be the best day of my life, my life. This is gonna be the best day of my life, my life. Thank you, Superintendent Burke. Please enjoy Albion Sketches, composed by Carl Strauman and performed by the superior rated Suncoast High School Concert Band under the direction of Mr. Michael Cofield. Thank you, Chargers and Mr. Cofield, for that outstanding performance. I am pleased to welcome back to the podium our student government president, Mr. Arnav Godam. Arnav is the son of Rishi and Shanta Godam. He is a dual scholar, excelling in both our math, science, and engineering program and the International Baccalaureate Diploma program. Arnold has achieved a perfect 4.0 GPA and a stellar 5.521 HPA. He is ranked fifth in his class. He will attend the University of Florida Honors College in the fall to major in mechanical engineering. Arnold will bring us a message that notes this occasion.
Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for being here to celebrate and support the class of 2023. I hope you enjoy the ceremony. 23 is a prime number, meaning that it can only be divided by one and itself. To some, this may seem insignificant. However, prime numbers are considered the building blocks of mathematics as they provide the foundation for forming every natural number. In the same way, the class of 2023 has become a part of the foundation of Suncoast High School, working to create a new sense of normalcy after an extended absence filled with isolation and online classes. When we all came into Suncoast, we were wide-eyed freshmen who were ready to start a new chapter in life. Whether you were in MSc, CS, IB, or IIT, we all began to work at a new level with rigorous classes that took more effort than any class we've ever taken before. Then came March 13th, 2020, the day quarantine began. At first, we were excited at the prospect of having an extra week off of school until that week turned into months which turned into more than a year. All of us went through something and came out changed. Personally, my grandmother passed away during this time. She was a devout Hindu, spending her life giving back to her family and her community. I wanted to honor her memory by serving others, and because of this, I ran for junior class president. When we came back to campus, everything seemed different and in a way, awkward. Not only had we been off campus for a year, but we still had to social distance and wear masks. I was determined to bring us back to where we left off, and as a part of SGA, we began gradually re-implementing student um, spirit days and spirit weeks, as well as other annual events like the dodgeball and basketball tournaments, homecoming, powder puff, and many others. By the end of junior year, specifically at our Diamond Days pep rally, I finally felt like we were normal again. We came together to show our charger spirit and had a deeper appreciation of everything we regained. And to keep our positive momentum going, I ran for my current position of SGA president. While last year was more of a transition back to normalcy, this year, our senior year, was our time to shine. Ultimately, the class of 2023 has came back stronger than ever in so many ways. Being a Suncoast Charger represents not only our academic strength, but our resilience and our ability to work hard and play hard. We learn to recognize and accept change and that not everything is in our control. And we learn to make the most of what we have and to be adaptive. And with that, I want to leave you all a quote from the greatest animated movie of all time, Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> in this film, Master Uguay states that yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. And while we all can't be Kung Fu masters, we can still learn to appreciate each and every moment in life. Thank you all for the best four years of my life, or rather, two and a half years, and thank you to all the friends who became like family along the way. I wish you all the best, and I'm proud to be a Suncoast Charger, and it is my honor to have served as your SGA president. Thank you, Arnav. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Tanisha Pierre. Tanisha is the president of the class of 2023. She is the daughter of Arnux and Aron Pierre. She is an International Baccalaureate Program Scholar who has achieved a 3.082 GPA and an impressive 4.071 HPA. She will attend the University of Florida in the fall to major in psychology. Tanisha? Hey, everyone. <laughs> To say I'm bursting with excitement would be such a grand understatement. The day has now come. We made it. <laughs> we have changed in a multitude of ways since Monday, August 12, 2019. From scared, clueless freshmen who roamed the halls looking for our classes, to confident, departing seniors who often offer advice to those who came after us. I get so emotional knowing this might be one of the last times we're all in a room together like this. We entered the school system almost 13 years ago, learning our letters, then learning our multiplication tables, doing our first science labs, and then fast forward to dedicating numerous grueling hours working on program commitments, which for me meant sobbing over a 4,000 word IB extended essay. <laughs> um, but I feel like we finally reached a point where we realized that life will be a continuous transformation. I don't know each and every one of your stories, but what I do know is that we've made it. We've spent the past four years anticipating the final bell with each passing hour, minute, and second that would signify the beginning of a new independence and countless new journeys. However, let us always remember all of the treasured stories and countless memories that have led us up to this point. We've endured the many uncertainties and consequences of a global pandemic, indecisiveness of our futures, 
and everyday teenage angst, showing to us all the importance of noting all of the cherished experiences we've shared in this very space that have helped us grow into the people we are today. It's hard having to say goodbye to a home where you've created a lot of meaningful friendships from all the daily conversations we knew we could continue the next day or the next alarm we'd have to set or the next test we'd have to prepare for have all had to be wrapped up within the last few days. And wow. I never thought I would reflect so fondly on running miles trying to set up pep rallies <laughs> for our student body to truly express their charger pride. Or staying up all night with friends, studying for Miss Newcomer's IB Math Analysis and Approaches exam that truly made me wonder whether IBO had it out for us. But I'm so happy to say, look at us now. We, the class of 2023, pushed boundaries to make this world a better place every day. And I hope you continue to do so no matter where all of our paths diverge. Thank you all for supplying me with many notable experiences these past four years. Take pride in how far you've come and set your mind for what is ahead. And as a for former teacher once told me, who you are is where you've been and who you will be is where you'll go. I really took that to heart because I'll always remember how I wrote my name for the first time, struggling to have my letters not be so crooked and falling off the line, never once imagining that I'd be here before you all today. Continue to make your presence known in the most groundbreaking of ways. I wish you all the best in pursuing your best or your most passions. Today, we leave with the possibility to create the exact lives we have wished for. It has been an honor serving you all as your senior class president. And as John D. Rockefeller once said, don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. Thank you and safe travels. Thank you, Tanisha. It is my distinguished pleasure to introduce the salutatorian of the class of 2023. Sultan Kamfar is the son of Niall Kamfar and Lenda Mureb. He is a math, science, and engineering student who has earned over 46 and a half credits. Sultan has a perfect 4.0 GPA and an astounding 5.511 HPA. He will attend the University of Florida Honors College and has been selected for the University Research Scholars Program. Sultan plans to major in biochemistry. Ladies and gentlemen, the Suncoast High School Class of 2023 salutatorian, Sultan Kamfar. All right. Well, congratulations, everyone. We made it. As we gather here today for this significant ceremony, I extend my heartfelt salutations to each and every one of you with the traditional Islamic greeting, Assalamu Alaikum, which translates to, peace be upon you. After four long years in math and physics, I thought I'd channel the wisdom of the king of physics himself one last time. As Sir Isaac Newton once said, if I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. As we prepare to embark on a new journey, I hold dear one fundamental lesson. Success is not a solitary pursuit, but rather a product of shared effort and collaboration. And it is this collective effort that enables us to surpass our limitations and reach new heights. Every person we encounter, every conversation we have, every lesson we learn, and every gesture of kindness and support we receive, big or small, contributes to our success so much more than we could ever imagine. Therefore, I would like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude to those who have let me stand on their shoulders. Thank you, Mama, for being the epitome of unconditional love and sacrifice. You have never once let your exhaustion or your own needs get in the way of helping me. Thank you, Baba, for the drawn out crash courses on economics and politics, but more importantly, for always having my best interests at heart. Thank you, Faisal, Abdul, and Maryam, my siblings, for helping me realize that my goals are much more attainable than I had thought. And while the four of us seem to have sequestered ourselves in our individual rooms these days, I always enjoy the time we spend together. I want to thank my friends who not only came to my rescue whenever I struggled in math or physics, but also brought joy and laughter to my life throughout the ups and downs of high school. Whether we were pulling all-nighters, playing Valorant, lying on benches in a food coma after stuffing ourselves with sushi, or showing off our impromptu, often sus, freestyling to occupy our creative minds, I'll always treasure the memories we've created. I'm incredibly grateful to the Suncoast faculty and staff for their tireless efforts in providing us with the necessary skills, resources, and tools to thrive. 
Your unwavering commitment to our success has instilled in us a sense of purpose and determination that will continue to drive us forward. Specifically, Mrs. Pearson, as both my teacher and a second mom, mere words cannot quantify the appreciation I have for all that you've done for me. And I thank you for being a constant source of support, guidance, and inspiration. And no, Mr. Coldfield, I didn't forget about you. Shout out to Mr. Coldfield for an amazing year of AP Music Theory. You know, there's a really good chance that I failed that AP exam, but I had fun in the process, and that's all that matters, right? All right. In all seriousness, though, I'm honored to stand before you as the salutatorian of the class of 2023. I'm going to be completely honest. It took a lot of hard work and sacrifice to get where I am today. But if I had to do it all over again, I don't think I'd change a thing. And while I can't deny that being six foot three makes me feel like a giant in most settings, I get to stand tall on this stage today thanks to the support of the true giants in my life. And yes, they do have some pretty broad shoulders. Thank you, and I wish each of you the best. Thank you, Sultan. Now, please delight in the sounds of the state qualifying Suncoast Voices Concert Chorus under the direction of Miss Hannah Harris as they perform You'll Never Walk Alone with Climb Every Mountain, arranged by Mark Hayes.
Thank you, Concert Chorus and Miss Harris, for that superior performance. Choir. John Perrell is the son of Matthew and Christy Perrell. He is a dual program scholar, completing both the rigorous math, science, and engineering program while simultaneously achieving all that is required to be an international baccalaureate diploma candidate. He has accumulated 55 credits, most at the college level, and has a 3.9909 GPA and a magnificent 5.6818 HPA. He will be attending George Washington University in the fall on a full scholarship and will major in psychology through their seven-year doctoral program. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my absolute honor to present to you the distinguished valedictorian of Suncoast High School's class of 2023, Mr. John Perrell. You know, I never really understood how imagining the audience naked was supposed to make you feel less nervous. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just feeling uncomfortable right now. Especially with Mr. Lunsford sitting out there. <laughs> Anyways, good afternoon parents, esteemed staff, and teachers of Suncoast High School, Superintendent Burke, faculty of the school district of Palm Beach County, and the class of 2023, I want to take a moment to thank God, my family, and my friends for always being there and guiding me throughout my life. I especially want to thank my brother Philip, who actually stood on this very same stage as valedictorian four years ago and made it possible for me, for me to be who I am today. But I also want to thank Sparknotes, ChatGPT, and Quizlet for making it possible to complete those last minute assignments. I'm honored to be able to stand before you today as your valedictorian, but I never really knew until now how being called the best at schoolwork would be a perfect example of how someone can be a winner and a loser at the same time. In all honesty though, it wouldn't have been possible for me to be here today without the support of my friends in the crowd. Aiden, Jasmine, Natalie, Matthew, the Dominsky twins, Marika and Colette, but also the people I still only call by their nicknames, Big Red, Miss Suncoast, The Genius. Also, special shout out to our D1 Volleyball Commit, Zoe Zudans, and also our SGA Prez, Arnov, for supporting me throughout my journey. <laughs> These past four years have been filled with lessons and memories for all of us. The first talking stage, the second talking stage, the third talking stage, realizing that maybe you're the problem. For many of us, these lessons were on a more personal level, but for others, we just learned the nooks and crannies for how to survive Suncoast. Some of us learned how to pause your location on Light360, while others learned how to do the Wordle instead of homework. Senor Free is a Spanish class, Learn how to use Google Train so effectively, while Mr. Trail's fifth grade class learned just what a code one means. And I think Ms. Neo Hagen's physics class learned just how useful a note card can be during an exam. Personally, even I learned that my laugh's a little louder than I think, and that maybe having a high school party in your backyard isn't exactly popular with your neighbors. In all seriousness, however, after watching dozens of graduation speeches, I finally realized that this is my farewell speech to you. But even though this is my goodbye, this isn't our end. We will soon be attending universities all around the world. We'll become the next generation to shape the future. Some of us will become lawyers or doctors, others, artists or entrepreneurs. But I have no doubt that each of us will continue to make a difference in the lives of others. No matter where each of us stands, no matter where life pushes us, our class will stand up these challenges and overcome the obstacles before us and make the most of each situation we find ourselves in. We'll become the next batch of leaders that inspire others to follow in our footsteps. 
just Ms. Newhagen, Senor Frias, Mrs. Slikovic, Ms. Blumner, Mr. Keevy, and Mrs. Kerner did for us. Transferring to Suncoast sophomore year, I was afraid about fitting in. I thought I would spend the next three years alone and not being able to make any friends. And I guess I was right. <laughs> because I didn't make any friends, I made a family instead. <laughs> to the best family a guy could have ever asked for, thank you for everything. Thank you for the memories, thank you for all the good times and the bad, and thank you for always being there. As I leave you today, if there's one final message I want to leave behind, it's some advice my father always tells me. Never forget the roots from which you came from, and never forget the people who made you who you are today. So, I encourage us all to use what we have learned here at Suncoast to put our best foot forward in every endeavor. After today, it's not gonna get any easier. We'll be faced with our challenges, but at the same time, we'll also meet with our successes. And as the wise words of childhood role model Garfield the Cat once put it, we should all live a life with no regrets. But I guess I fail that since my one regret is not being able to spend another four years with the best family I got, a guy could have ever asked for. So, to the amazing class of 2023, as we continue our journey, I ask you to enjoy, take chances, make a difference, and accomplish the impossible. For the final time, as your valedictorian, I just have two last words to say. Perel out. Thank you, John. Getting started on this principal's address is always the most difficult part. After all, this is my seven minute chance to shower you with the accolades and praise you so impressively deserve. The very moment I have to inspire you to make a com continued commitment to excel at the highest level, just as you have proven during your tenure at Suncoast. And most importantly, my privileged opportunity to celebrate the indelible mark you leave on our Charger Nation. When I began thinking about this year's grad speech, I knew it would have to be something special. I mean, each year's speech is something special, but you, the class of 2023, you are my first full four-year class of graduates. We have completed this entire journey together, and what a wild ride it has been. Remember the summer of 2019? All of us arrived to campus filled with excitement and anticipation of what this next chapter would have in store for us, never knowing how very different the next four years would actually be. While I normally find my inspiration for the graduation address through music lyrics when I least expect it, this year turned out to be just a tad bit different. Certainly listening to Kaylee Little and Katherine Swanson sing For Good at our spring concert and then hearing it again at the Kravis Center performance of Wicked left me pondering how true it is that because I knew you, I have been changed for good. But like Goldilocks, those lyrics just weren't right. Then in April, I attended the Natalie Merchant concert, and while I am guessing she is not likely an artist you all are familiar with, based solely on the fact that I don't regularly hear her melodious voice blasting through our speakers at dances and pep rallies, her song, Kind and Generous, touched my heart and got me thinking. You certainly have proven over these four years to be a dynamic group of individuals, truly kind and generous, and for that, my admiration. But those lyrics didn't seem to satisfy either. You see, despite a partial freshman year, virtual sophomore year, transitional junior year, and what's called our new normal senior year, you have achieved greatness. 
You have not let uncertainty and the hurdles that accompany it impede you. Rather, you have sustained excellence and triumph. You are innovative philanthropists, humble scholars, vocal activists, digital masterminds, renowned talents. The list is endless. And yet all of these words to describe you still do not seem worthy enough to fully capture your Suncoast legacy. Days went by and I listened song after song to no avail until one day my husband said, Taylor Swift seems to be a big deal right now with her Eras tour. Could you do something around her? And that was it. He hit the nail on the head. This year's speech had to be bigger than a song. It needed more than an album. After all, this was our era. And just as the incredible Taylor Swift has transformed herself from something amazing into something even more astounding over the years, so have you. So I must speak now. Ready for it? Like Taylor was in 2008, you are fearless. Noble Chargers, bold and brave. You made a deliberate choice to attend the school district of Palm Beach County's flagship school for accelerated academics, which proudly boasts the most stringent requirements for graduating and successfully navigated your own personalized labyrinth. All of you began enrolling in college level coursework at or before 15 and continue to challenge yourself year after year with strenuous schedules. And because of this fortitude, each of you leaves us with an impressive transcript of college hours to your credit. In fact, I think it is appropriate to mention here that in your senior year alone, this class of 368 chargers completed a combined total of 2,691 college level courses. And as a result of your incredible efforts, 14 of you have earned a perfect 4.0 GPA. 272 of you boast a 4.0 HPA or higher, while an astounding 24% of you showcase a 5.0 or higher HPA. Amid adversity, you quickly learn the Suncoast rigor is real, though no match for the fearless class of 2023. It's no hoax, Suncoast has an outstanding reputation and has been touted for its continued success. Thanks to your remarkable achievements, US News and World Report has again recognized Suncoast as one of the best high schools in the nation, ranked 119 of nearly 18,000 high schools rated, scoring 15th amid Florida high schools and achieving a near perfect overall score of 99.3 out of 100. Further, we landed in the top 1% of America's high schools on the J. Matthews Challenge Index, as reported by the Washington Post, and ranked third for best magnet school in Florida and second for the most diverse public high school in Florida, according to the niche list of best schools for 2023. These statistics showcase your extraordinary performance and recognize the notable work of our Charger staff. I am truly enchanted by the multitude of accolades this class boasts. Nearly $14 million in scholarship awards, one United States Presidential Scholar semifinalist, four Pathfinder first place winners and one second place winner, 20 National Merit semifinalists, 17 finalists, and six National Merit Scholarship winners nearly half of the district's 13. Two students were awarded National Merit Corporate Sponsored Special Scholarships and seven chargers were selected as National Merit College Sponsor Scholarship recipients. 58 of you were selected as a College Board National Recognition Program awardee. 28 of you for the National Hispanic Recognition Award. 25 of you for the National African American Recognition Award and five of you for the National Indigenous Award. Further, five of you were acknowledged in two of the program categories. Call it what you want, but I think this brief showcase of your achievements is nothing short of phenomenal. In fact, I am almost certain your complete list would be unrivaled by any other 2023 graduating class. It comes as no surprise this kind-hearted group of seniors would not simply meet the 20-hour community service graduation requirement, then shake it off as done. 
Instead, these altruistic chargers gifted their peers, our school, and the community a combined total of 54,043 hours of community service, accumulating more than seven times the required amount for graduation. It's true, I would love for you to stay, 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 but excitedly, it's time to go. Recruited by top colleges all over the world, nearly one half of our seniors, an impressive 177 of you, were accepted into top 100 colleges. Two of our chargers received an appointment to a United States military academy. Thank you in advance for your future service. And with a graduation rate at a perfect 100%, we are confident all of our 2023 graduates are destined for success. We are so proud that you will represent Suncoast at notable universities throughout the state, across the nation, and around the globe. In my wildest dreams, I could not possibly have believed my career path would lead me to this amazing school and afford me the opportunity to humbly serve you and the entire Charger Nation as principal. And while the story of us ends here, I implore you to consider as you begin again the blank space that is your next chapter and remind you a place in the world awaits, but only you can determine what and where that is. You see, just as it happened for me when crafting this principal's address, a song or outside influence can have real impact. And while this time for me, it was a hint from my husband and the epic career of a pop megastar, a fascinating video on TikTok, the encouraging words from a friend, the advocacy of a social media post or even the poignant text of a novel just might be the very thing that ignites you and makes sparks fly. So as you move forward in this next phase of your educational career, or rather your next adventure in life, I wish you would take a moment to reflect on how often our thoughts, emotions, opinions, and actions are actually triggered and stimulated by outside influences. Through these years, you have had people talk to you, with you, and at you in hopes of sharing wisdom, providing guidance, and offering direction. But as you take these next steps in your personal journey, it will be the voices inside you that will matter the most. Trust your instincts. Make thoughtful decisions. Love with your heart and believe in yourself. A network of friends and confidence will support you even after your tassel is turned because of who we are and what we stand for. Your memories made here will last a lifetime and relationships will continue beyond our campus green gates because connections are valued, all evidenced and proven true your junior year when we return back to campus. I want you to know I could not be more proud of your efforts to stay connected and charge on through these unparalleled four years. You are the class who was together, apart, and then together again. And your determination to remain as one shine brightly through this incomparable era. Today we celebrate the legacy you will leave behind and honor your charged spirit that will undoubtedly live on forevermore. You, the Charger class of 2023, are college and career ready and you are our future. Despite your next pride colors, we know you will always bleed green with a heart of gold. Congratulations, Suncoast High School Class of 2023, Chargers forever and always. At this time, we will present the diplomas to the Class of 2023. John Perell. Jonathan Skatoff. 
Mira Sayeg. Sydney Smith. Arnoff Gotham. Michael Cerullo. Sultan Kanfar. Angelo Chen. Snehat Injam. Adam Shamash. Tanisha Pierre. Amari Ari. Era Anna Mado. Jacob DeRocha. Troy Ellis. Sophia Eliana Gonzalez. Kiana Haynes. Isaiah Horton. Kaylee Little. Jordi Million. Taylor Nance. Gabriel Pierce. Robert Smith. Stefan Varela. Rodini Abelard. Brady Aver. Carrie Aksame. Lauren Adams. Marcia Ahmed. Valeria Arango. Rebecca Burris. Helena Canova. Herman Carmona Lopez Mestre. Skylar Chung. Logan Dontrell Coe. Ronaya Cross. Rohit Desgupta. Reese Dunlop. Tristan Camacho Espiso. Eli Farrell. Rachel Fernandez. Yanel Green. Benjamin Helbling. Anton Holmes. Vidushi Lianaga. Brianna Clark. Alethea Olius. <laughs> Mumina Ahmed. <laughs> Aliyah Ayantola. <laughs> Zara Alam. <laughs> Hector Alegria. Sovereign Alexander. Gael Alfasi. Elizabeth Alfrez. Bida Ali Akbarzadeh. Samantha Amaro. Serena Amilka. Tiana Anderson. Cheyenne Asarupe.
Barak Aseged. Mateo Avendano. Brandon Bach. Kamuli Bahemuka. Sebastian Belfour. Kayla Baptiste. Juna Barrera. Stephanie Bellas. Jacob Bellin. Sarah Benavides. Kemi Benedict. Fiona Ben Susan. Isabella Burkoff. Zachary Blair. Robert Borenius. Brandon Mwanje. Benjamin Perla. Dylan Phillips. Gabriella Regis. Faith Romulus. Matthew Schwal. Jade Ari Shaw. Kennedy Williams. Raylynn Williams. Jocelyn Wood. Natalie Bornell. Daniela Braun. Brady Brissett. Brooklyn Brewer. Brianna Bridell. Philip Bright Jr. Chelsea Brooks. Zaya Brooks. Amberton Cadet. Anaya Callum. Nicholas Canedo Ortiz. Julian Carries. Anderson Casales. Alyssa Castellanos. Christian Castillo. Marvin Castor. Tane Chanduk. Tommy Cherry. Karina Chong. Labiba Chowdhury. Glenn Alexander Connor. Joseph Aldo Conrad. Janae Cornelius. Jillian Cranny. Donovan Cromer. Tyler Crow. Ralph Curtis. William Dahlmeyer. Sam De Silva. Chase Davidson. Cameron Davis. Kate De Peralta. Jessica Diebold. Sophia Del Valle. Jack Deng. Darren Daria. 
Alejandro Diaz. Emily Din. Mint Do. Sandra Do. Lillian Dosicle. Dominic Dosuma. Colette Domensky. Marika Domensky. Jada Doki. Edwin Dorno. Ryan Drew. Caitlin De Silva. Emily Duckman. Michaela Edwards. Dirsu Espinal. Andrew Fasenko. Natalia Flores. Nestor Flores. Jackson Foman. Xavier Foman. Juliette Fontaine. Arnaud Francois. Stephanie Funk. Bella Fusco. Tiffany Gao. Abigail Gibson. Keisha Gilliam. Miguel Goizueta. Alexander Goldstein. Max Gomez. Marin Gomez Herrera. Carlos Gonzalez. Alejandro Gonzalez. Alina Gonzalez. Emily Gonzalez. Daniel Grant. George Green. Parker Greenspan. Angelina Guffrey. Joseph Guzman. Harmony Hamilton. Zachary Handel. Amanda Hansa. Madi Hawk. Lillian Haas. Gavin Hurd. Sabrina Heim. Ivory Hendricks. Ari G. Herman. Jonathan Hernandez Morales. Aiden Higgins. Cameron Higgins. Madison Higgins. Brandon Hong. Benjamin Holdsworth. Peter Hoogterp. Lila Ibrahim. Rimsha Islam. 
Ava Giuliani. Kyle Jackson. Marcus Jacques. Neha Jagadish. Layla Jean. Neil Gidigunta. Hayan Jimenez. Tamira Johnson. Nicholas Johnston. Kaylee Joyner. Cameron Jones. Leslie Joseph. Zachary Kanani. Sophia Capsos. Harrison Katz. Jack Keeley. Lily Kellner. Skyler Kelly. Ahmet Kelwadkar. Bryson King. Christopher King. Sarah King. Mason Kerner. Ashley Kirshner. Pat Kitzwang. Isaac Knight. Arista Coraboyna. Jude Kafour. Anjali Kumar. Austin Lakovic. Talia Lamour. Max Lang. Jordi Lauer. Tan Lei. Tian Lei. Carla Legister. Carlene Legister. Nicholas Levanier. Charlotte Levay. Matthew Lind. Duilio Leoche. John Lavanios. Maxwell Lockshin. Enrique Lopez. Dorliska Lopez Lusa. Freedom Macaluso. Nora Masiak. Madison Magyar. Giselle Maldonado. Vincada Lahar Manaconda. Delula Maramba. Daniel Marin. Shania Marshall. Brandon Martinez. Juliana Mateus. Tyler Matthews. Jason Maurer. Malia McEchen. Sean Meister. Abigail Menard. 
Jaden Morgan Vereen. Samantha Morris. Rob Morrison. Ty Mortman. Trace Movic. Isabella Mercia. Ryan Nicholas Murillo. Kamna Neger. Brandon Naranjo. Lawrence Nazaro. Jed Neme. Jadil Nelson. Thurston No. Nora Wynn. Tara Wynn. Vincent Wynn. Sanandan Oja. Jonathan Oko Jr. Roshini Oroganti. Emma Padurian. Iga Panas. Hirin Patel. Mahi Patel. Vincenzo Patino Hurtado. Sean Paulin. Michael Pearson. Daisy Perez. Joseph Perez. Lindsay Perez Thomas. Mala Prasad. Frankenson Hanan Pachon. Vanna Fan. Anari Phoenix. Sarah Pierre. Daniel Pania. Sahit Palaneni. Christina Porter. Kaylin Portielis. Aporv Potlia. Peter Radanovich. Mashvikor Rahman. Saeed Rahman. Marley Rappaport. Peter Rachev. Ava Reitzel. Victoria Reynolds. Zachary Rice. Justin Ricketts. Joshua Riviera. Noah Roberts. Rivaldo Roberts. Amanda Michelle Rodriguez. Rachel Rodriguez. Sean Rolfs. Aliyah Rochin. Chloe Roy. Camila Ruby.
Abik Saha. Alai St. Jean. Sarah Salcido Riccio. Azmine Samin. Alessandro Sanchez. Pratoy Sarkar. Nathaniel Sasser III. Leah Salceda. Rhea Sawant. Vikram Saxena. Cameron Scott. Jonathan Sapal. Samantha Segovia. Delaney Sagan. Chad Senecole. Samuel Servius. Shlok Shaw. Subita Shaid. Angelina Sharp. Rohan Sharetha. Sagat Sharesta. Zaina Sadiq. Isabella Sill. Samantha Simone. Arush Singh. Jacob Singh. Aiden Skolnick. Caitlin Smith. Jasmine Soljic. Joseph Smagnola. Nathan Stafford. Ruben Steven. Nicholas Stillings. Kyle Stokes. Bastian Strauss. Nathan Sturrock. Alyssa Sullivan. Vignish Sundararajan. Luke Sword. Daniel Tan. Ethan Taylor. Petuni Thigginus. Abby Thompson. William Torado. Gabriela Mores Tora. Kyle Tran. Ryan Eula. Carla Valverde. Peter Van Kirk. Shifali Van Sedia. Daniel Varghese. Raga Venkat. Aiden Virgin. Wavenoville Saint. Emerson Vital. Stephen Vitali. Darnell Walker Jones. 
Emma Warren. Isabel Weintraub. Ava Worley. Benjamin Whitfield. Russell Witter. Carlissa Williams. Christian Williams. Samantha Yang. Ava Yarek. Anaya Young. Madison Zellner. Brian Zoe. And Zoe Zudans. Mr. Burke and honored guests, it is my honor to confirm by the power bestowed upon me as the principal of Suncoast High School that the Charger class of 2023 has indeed met all of the graduation requirements established by the Board of Education and the State of Florida. I present to you the extraordinary graduates of the esteemed Suncoast High School. The class of 2023 requested that all gathered today join them in singing the alma mater one final time. You will find the words on the last page of your program. The exceptionally the exceptionally talented Helena Canova will lead us in the alma mater composed, composed by Wayne Leonard and will be accompanied by the musically gifted Suncoast Concert Band. Everyone please rise and seniors remain standing.
Thank you, Helena. Audience, please be seated. Seniors, we have reached the end game. This is the moment you have been waiting for. As the final symbol of your official graduations, please turn your tassel from right to left. Go Chargers! As we conclude today's ceremony, would everyone please stand one final time and applaud this amazing class, the class of 2023.